and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to do a full face of first impressions. Now I think this is actually the first full face of first impressions I've done, or if not, at least the first one in a while. So I've got an array of items behind me here, which you can't see, because they're actually blurred. I've realised how to work my camera. Thanks Byron, I was using my camera wrong this whole time, been doing YouTube for four years and I still hadn't mastered how to work my camera properly. But now I have, and now the background is nice and blurred. Love that. Without further ado, if you do want to watch this first impressions, then just keep on watching. But we're going to start off with eyebrows like always. Now, what I usually use for my eyebrows is Benefit or Anastasia Beverly Hills. However, I've never actually tried the Benefit Cabral. And now when I went on the Benefit trip with Anna, they actually like laid loads out for us, which was perfect. So this is in the shade 3.5, um, which could be a good shade. I don't really know, it could be a little bit too dark. Obviously now I've had my hair lightened. Um, so this is obviously like the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade which is one of the products that I always use um, and the brush it comes with is just like this literally perfect for what we're going to be doing and I believe you can click it in there as well so let's open this up that is what the colour looks like um, I believe it could be a good, like a good colour but we're going to try it anyway because we haven't got anything else that's new and I did want to use something that was new as well because I always 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 use either like the Benefit brow pencils or my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dup Brow Pomade so let's give this a whirl I really don't like this bit this bit's annoying me um, so I'm just gonna use the little small bit that it comes with and so I really need to get a lot of product on here because I just, I do my eyebrows quite dark. I just feel like it's, it's going to be a bit of a change, you know, going from dark eyebrows to lighter. But, what can you do? I think the only thing I don't like about this is the applicator, just because it's really small. I thought you might be able to extend it then. But then attaching it onto the bottom bit makes it kind of difficult to hold. So maybe if I was to use it again, I would use my normal like eyebrow brush that I normally use. But I guess it's good for obviously if you're on the go and you can't fit like everything with you, you've kind of got your brush already here there we go so I'm now quickly gonna jump off camera set my brows in place and then we're gonna move on to the face right we are back the brows are set in place Um, I kind of just need to smudge that bit a little bit Um, but yeah that is the eyebrows done Overall, really like the product. It is very similar to obviously Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I feel like this is a really good shade as well, um, considering obviously I've just had my hair lightened. It's a lot lighter than my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So yeah, this gets a big thumbs up from me. Now for primer, I have these Unicorn Drops from Barry M. So obviously, everyone knows the Fasali Unicorn Drops. Sorry, my phone is going off like mad. You can mute, please. I like well known, however, they're so expensive. Um, Barry M have actually brought out their own version. Never tried the Vasali one, never tried the Barry M one, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But let's see what all the fuss is about because these are in all Instagram like makeup tutorials, and you know, I've always just wanted to give it a go. I don't even know how you apply this. How do you apply this? Um. Okay, you just drop it on your face. Oh god, that's cold. I should probably look in the mirror whilst I'm doing this because me being me, I'm a little bit of a klutz. Oh, it's glittery. Love that. Okay. It smells really nice. It kind of smells like oranges. Mmm. 
that's a small as I've just got all down the bottle. Um, but this says it brightens, detoxifies, hydrates and smooths the skin for the perfect primer and skin care treatment. So I'm just going to rub this in. I don't know if you rub this in or if you're supposed to like pat it in. This literally smells like oranges. So that has made my skin really like sticky. Um, so now to move on to foundation. The foundation I have today is by Barry M as well. Um, it's their new all night long full coverage foundation. So they did actually send me all of their shades I believe. So the shades that I'm like going to be picking between are F4, F5 and F6 um, because I feel like they're probably the ones that are like closest to my skin tone. I feel like F4 is probably going to be the best because I am pale. Oh, that's a nice colour. I feel like that could work. Let's see. Oh, is it a bit light actually? Mmm, bit light. Damn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel like that is going to be better. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go with... Um, F5 which is cookie that is actually a really nice colour perfect just going to start bouncing this on the skin um, I'm also going to just dot it, it is very runny it is very very runny um, so maybe not one to put on the back of your hand maybe more one to put on your face when you start because otherwise it's going to end up everywhere but as I said, I really like this though, it's quite dewy um, and very lightweight. We'll see about the coverage. To be, to be fair, that is not bad. Wow. I really like this colour, but can you see how that has just like airbrushed my skin? Wow, I like this. Now, for concealer, I didn't actually have like a new concealer that I've never used. However, I did in PR get sent the new Lasting Perfection shade. Um, so it's the Extra Fair shade zero. Now, I've not used Lasting Perfection by collection in literally years. So this is again, kind of like a first impression, um, but more of a first impression for the colour. Um, but yeah, let's just use this while wow, that is very light um, and I'm just gonna do my usual highlighting routine as you can see the colour is very bright I don't usually use a concealer that's this bright um, just because I don't really like it this bright oh, I feel like I put a bit too much on and I'm also gonna bring it on top of my lids as well because obviously we're gonna be doing eyeshadow later so I need to prime them lids. I feel like it's not really concealed my bags. You know what I mean? I feel like it just kind of makes my eye look a bit strange and like really awake and bright, but hasn't got rid of my bags, you know? But yeah, so now we're gonna move on to bronzer. So the reason I'm moving on to bronzer now is because I actually have a cream bronzer. So this is from Lazatzi Cosmetics. Don't really know, just looks like this, so we're just gonna swoop this down. Wow, that's quite stiff and it's also quite cold turned. Let's see how this goes. So let's blend this out. I didn't even think about how long this could take, and I've blabbered it all over my face already. This doesn't actually look too bad, at least it doesn't in the viewfinder because that's kind of what I'm using at the moment. Um, on my cheek though, it's kind of just like disappeared. Right, now for the nose, I'm going to go in with this side. Okay, so that was... Okay. Um, it definitely worked more on my forehead than my cheeks. But, yeah, it still looks nice. So now for powder, I'm so, so, so excited to be using this. Beauty Bakery actually reached out to me and obviously wanted to send me some of their products. So, they've actually sent me their Loose Baking Flour Powder. Um, obviously, their whole brand is based around baking. Um, this is what it looks like. I've heard so many good reviews about this, and I've always wanted to try it. Um, so, let's give it a go. So, the powder is very, very fine, which I like. It's kind of got a little bit of a colour to it, but not... <coughs> Wow. So 
that is what the powder looks like. It's very nice and fine. It has a little bit of a colour to it. So it's a little bit like golden, just you know, like a powder sort of colour. Um, so I'm quickly just going to run under my eyes again. I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder. I'm going to set under my eyes and in all the other places that I did highlight. And that is actually really, really nice. It's really, really airbrushed. I also forgot to get powder. Oops. Um, use this. Oh, God. Oh, ouch. I just put my hand over a flame. How did I not realise that? Put that off using my Real Techniques powder brush. This is from my, like, space collection. My foundation that I have on is actually quite dry, like it's not sticky or anything, so I feel like it doesn't really need powdering. I'm just dusting over my face with the powder that I already have on this brush just from like before. So, um, I do usually use powder bronzer, um, I don't have a new one, so I'm just going to go in my like favourite holy grail. Benefit Hula Bronzer. Now, for highlighter today, I'm so excited to be using the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Delicate Highlighter Palette. Just literally, you guys. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So I think I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades here. Oh my God, so pretty. Literally obsessed. Beauty Bay at the moment are really, really killing it. Like, all their collaboration palettes are so good. All their palettes that they've brought out themselves, so good. And now they've brought out a highlighter palette. That's just what I needed. I'm going to go in with these two shades hither. And, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Wow. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Do you see that? Wow. Wow, Beauty Bay not here to play, literally. <gasps> wow, <gasps> wow, oh my god. That is amazing. I literally went like this and then, <gasps> look, oh my god, wow. Okay, so now moving on to eyeshadow. Going back to Barrier, we have the Treasure Chest Big Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette, which just looks like this. We have some really, really pretty colours in here. I've got a hair on my brush on my face, um, and I'm just going to open this up. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Very, very, very pretty. Um, so I'm going to go in with a few of the matte shades first. Just deepen the crease a little bit and then I'm going to go in with some of the shimmers. I'm quickly going to go in with this shade here. And I'm just, wow, hello, pigment. It's quite a lot of, um, like, kickback in the pan. But let's see what it's like on the eye. Oh, God. Okay, so that colour is actually really light. It's quite light on my skin tone. Um, I mean, you can see it. So, not a problem. Now I'm going to go in with this shade Hither, um, just to make it a little bit deeper. I feel like this could be a bit bright, but we will see. Okay, yeah, I was right. Just blend that. Okay, so I'm hardly putting any pressure on, and that is quite pigmented. I'm going to go straight in to the other eye as well just from that side um, and again I'm literally lightly tapping there and there's a lot of pigment I literally just dipped my brush in a little bit so for drugstore eyeshadows these are quite pigmented I'm gonna also go in with this colour here and I'm just gonna darken up the outer edges um, and then we're gonna go in with some glitter that is a really pretty colour as well. And this is like a colour that I would usually... What is wrong with my voice? And this is a colour as well that I would usually use for like my outer third. So, kind of perfect. I'm really, I'm like just looking at these glittery colours and I'm like, wow, obsessed. I really hope the colour payoff is as good as they look in the pan because they literally look so good. 
I'm not doing anything too dramatic today as well. Like this is just like an everyday um, makeup kind of look because I'm not really doing a lot. Well, actually, I am doing a bit today. I'm gonna go ice skate later on um, with an old college friend, which is not old, but like I've just not seen her in ages. Um, and I was really close to her when I was at college. <clears throat> but obviously she works, whereas I don't. So well, I do, but obviously I work at home. Um, so she was never free like when I was free. But she's got this weekend off, which is a blessing. So we're gonna go ice skating and stuff this weekend. Then we're gonna go out in New York tomorrow, and then we're gonna head to Scarborough Town um, and go out. So I'm also just running this under my eyes. I forgot to mention. Um, and now we're gonna move on to the glitter, which I'm so excited about. I'm just gonna use my fingers, I think. I can't decide what color to go for. I'm either thinking like this one, this one, this one. Oh, I don't know what color do I want. Right, so I've got with this one here. I just feel like it's more of a neutral kind of shade. And wow. <gasps> wow, that's pretty. Wow, no, that's so pretty. Sorry, I'll feed you in a bit. Ooh, right, now moving on to eyeliner. I have a Kiko eyeliner, um, which is just a pen eyeliner. Uh, I've been using pen eyeliners a lot more recently and I thought I'd obviously give this one a go. So, silence please. Eyeliner is an important step. And if we mess it up, there's no going back. So. Uh, but now I'm gonna go in with mascara. So again, I'm going in with a Kiko mascara. Never used it before, it comes in this packaging, which I think is really pretty, really cool. This is the Luxurious Lashes Extra Volume Brush Mascara. Um, this was like not wanting me to get in it then. That is what it looks like, wow. That is a big brush. Um, so I'm just gonna, oh my god, that's so big. Like, look at that next to my eye. Wow, huge. Just gonna go. My lashes. I am going to be putting falsies on, so I don't need to worry too much. That is scary. Like that coming towards my eye, I'm like, whoa, wow. Okay, um, that's kind of hard to use. Um, I've hardly really coated my lashes because of how fat the brush. The brush just changed shape. I'm so confused. It just changed shape. What? That is so much easier. Wow. Okay. I don't know if I just broke it or if that was supposed to happen. But now it's like the shape of your eye. Wow, okay. And that's bending even more each time it comes out. Okay, right, well. Anywho, mascara done. For lashes today, I'm taking the Indigo Rose Sugar Lashes. Um, Indigo Rose is actually run by a girl who I used to go to college with, her name is Tori, and she's just brought out her like own new eyelashes. So she's brought out three, one in the style Confidence, one in the style Vonnie, and one in the style Sugar. Um, I will leave her Instagram down below. I'm gonna use the style Sugar as these look right on my alley, and you know, a little bit of glam, but also quite soft for every day. Okay, so I have put my lashes on, off camera and I also just set my face quickly using, ow, I just dropped my finger in my mirror, um, using the s cover effects, I don't know what, setting powder, um, but by cover effects. And I was just looking in the mirror, obviously, when I was applying my eyelashes, like my big stand-up mirror, and my foundation has actually oxidised quite a lot. Um, obviously, whilst you're watching this video, it will have obviously oxidised gradually, um, so we've kind of just got used to it, but it is actually quite orange. Under this light, you can't really tell, because this light is obviously white. 
Um, but in natural lighting, I'm bright orange. So that's always a good start. Um, I'm now quickly gonna apply lipstick and then that is obviously the whole look finished. So the lipstick I'm taking is by Kiko. It is this like duo ended one. Um, this is in the shade um, 103. Um, so you apply the base colour first and then the top coat. So let's do it. I've never actually used these from Kiko, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Now let's go in with the top coat. So, Ooh. I don't know if this dries down or if it stays like glossy and if that's like the look that it's supposed to be, but that is the finished look. So, yeah, the highlight literally so blinding i did really like obviously the consistency and the way that the foundation applied however it has oxidized oxidized quite a lot so kind of not as much of a thumbs up as it was before everything else has seemed to have worked the eyelashes as well i didn't speak about are really really nice really really nice and fluffy really really lightweight as well um, so yeah, I'll leave the link to her website and everything in the description box down below um, and like her Instagram and things if you guys can follow her, I'm sure that'd be much appreciated um, But yeah, like I said, this is a finished look Really hope you did enjoy this video If you did, as always, remember to give it a huge thumbs up down below Subscribe if you haven't already Thank you so much for watching today's video And I will see you very, very soon with another one Bye!